Okay, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm trying to, hopefully this is clear enough for everybody to see. Um, you get a packet, kind of like a little package that holds your medication in there. Um, uh, your auto injector, your needle clipper, your warmer, your ice pack, your syringes, and then your alcohol wipes. Um, first things first is you do get a little bit of a warmer. This thing is solid rock. If you hear that solid rock, what you have to do is put it in hot water for 10 minutes to soften it up. It gets squishy and then you're able to use it as a hot pack prior to injection. So you get one of these, you get a regular ice pack. Mine came from shared solutions. I'll try to do a picture of that in reverse so that you guys can see that. There's a phone number on there actually you can call. So um, you get an ice pack as well. The ice pack does help with the numbing prior to the injection. Um, you get a packet of um, alcohol wipes basically, okay? Um, the other thing is you get a, if you guys can see this, kind of what it looks like. This is a needle cutter. Okay, um, you would insert the needle on in this little hole here and snap down and it cuts the needle off and then you can throw away your needle cap in the trash can without getting in trouble for putting sharps in the actual trash can. And then when you touch the sides, pinch the sides, it opens right up. This stuff is great. I love this. You can still hear my old needles in there, but of course I have a sharps container at home that I keep just in case. So here we are. Um, you, if you, okay, so there's two things and I talked about this. You either manually inject or you auto inject. This is kind of like a description of what the auto inject looks like. They all do not look the same, okay? The auto injectors do not look the same. Mine is an auto inject from Shared Solutions and it is specifically only for glass pre-filled syringes okay um if you guys have this you know how it's used it always comes with a cap the cap actually is removable and this prevents any body getting stuck so if, if you have a child in the house or a grandchild in the house always make sure to keep the cap on because if you have medication in there nobody gets stuck with it okay so it prevents any any sticking First things first is I don't have a pre-filled syringe because mine were pre-filled when I did the auto injector. But if we're going to go over, if you ha are manually um, giving yourself an injection, um, your medication is already going to come pre-filled. Some of these medications do have to be refrigerated and before you take them, they should be at room temp. So a lot of the nurses will tell you to keep it in your bag at room temp for, let's say if you're self-injecting twice a week or three times a week, you keep those pre-filled medications out of the fridge in your bag for that week and they're good to go, but the rest of the medication has to stay in the fridge until you're ready to use it within a 24 to 48 hour period, okay? Um, if you're self-injecting, and we all know this, and this is a pretty big needle, but the, I mean, this is not, sorry, I unscrewed this, but this is, this is a pretty, pretty big needle. This is not what it's going to be when you have to self-inject. I can't get the top off. Um, it's actually smaller than, than this. This is a pretty big needle, but uh, this is just for demonstration purposes, you guys. Um, when you self-inject, obviously, the easiest thing to do is when you inject yourself, you guys, you want to use, and I'm going to take this cap off just to demonstrate without the needle in there. So I'm going to unscrew this whole thing. Um, but let's just say the needle's there and then you have your pre-filled medication. Um, arms are probably going to be the... Um, probably the hardest thing and probably the most painful. If you're going to self-inject, always do it in your abdominal area, switch sides right and left, and your thigh area. That's where you have the biggest muscle and the biggest fat. So remember that. Um, so this is, if you self-inject and they will, they have nurses that will show you, but I mean, there's nothing in here. This is empty. But if the needle was here, 
you have to find a thick enough area. And obviously you can't pinch yourself unless you, yeah, you can't really pinch yourself. The auto eject is actually good, but to get somebody or yourself to do it, you insert the needle, slowly push, and you hold for 10 seconds. Okay, that's going to be your, your manual injection. And again, you have a nurse at the doctor's office that will go with you through it step by step on how to self inject. Um, and actually, I want to actually, since we have the have have the cutter out and we've got like an, an empty syringe with the needle, I'll show you guys the clipper, which I love. After you self inject, you actually stick the needle in the hole. I'll show you guys here. I don't know how clear this is on the video. And when you snap it down, it's actually cut the needle. So now there's like nothing, there's no needle, okay? Um, which is pretty cool. So um, if you don't have a needle cutter, you should get one. Um, they come in pretty, pretty handy. Um, so this is the auto inject, okay? This auto inject is pretty simple. It actually comes off if you screw it off. It's, it has a little insert there for your pre-filled syringe. Now again, I don't have a pre-filled syringe, but I wanna show you guys technically how it would work. Your pre-filled syringes are gonna look something like this. Let's take this cap off. Your pre-filled syringes are gonna look something like this. So no, no, no cap, let's say. Let's say it's kind of filled. So it'll it'll be a very small glass, sm way smaller than this. Again, this is just a demonstration. But you would insert into the hole, you would insert your syringe, pre-filled syringe, okay? And then once the syringe is pre-filled or put in here, you're going to push, and this is a springy, you're going to push this in, Turn, 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 spring, 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 this around. Um, and I don't know if you guys can see from here, but there's numbers here. And what these numbers are, are how far the needle is going to go into the skin. I always do mine at 10, so I'm going to move this down to 10. And 10 is the farthest end because you want to get into the muscle. So 10. You want to get into the muscle. Once you've put your pre-filled syringe inside the auto eject, um, what you're going to do is then take the cap off. Okay. Put it against your skin. And it pushes down. This whole thing moves. So you put it against your skin. If you can see, I'm putting some power into there and then you hit your button which snaps and you're going to hold it for 10 seconds that's because you want to make sure that all the medication goes into your body okay and once you're done you unscrew this and the actual needle falls out okay the old needle will just fall out unscrew this back on and of course before you put it away always make sure to put your cap back on and then you just stick everything back in here, everything that you're going to need for the day. Zip this up, put it in a safe place, and, and you're done. And get rid of the things that need to be done. Okay. Hopefully this was enough that, to help you guys out. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, um, please let me know. And I'll try to address whatever I can as far as this goes. We'll see you guys next time.